So if Queen Elizabeth's face comes up on this toonie, we're going to go to dream big. But if the moose on the back comes up, we're going to go 10 more exercises. You guys in on this? But you have to trust and, and promise me that whatever the coin does, we do. All right, dream big it is. Let's go. <laughs> Anybody ever see these? Anybody over the age of 40? You've probably seen these before. Anybody under the age of 25? These are called books. <laughs> yes. We used to get them in these imaginary places called libraries. These were my favorite books growing up. They're called Choose Your Own Adventure Books. I love these books because what they did was they started with a, a simple story. And you started the story and after maybe four or five pages, the story would ask you a question. Do you want to take option A? Go to page 42. If you want to take option B, go to page 56. And as you went through the book, you'd, be, you'd keep coming back to these questions. And when you made a decision, it would alter the course of the story. And it's very, very powerful. One of my favorite ones of all time was this one right here, The Cave of Time. I must have read this thing a hundred times. Because I loved the fact that there was an adventure and I had control over that adventure. It was very, very powerful for me as a young child. And if you went into the cave of time, you'd enter a cave and you'd be like, one, should I even go in the cave or should I go around the cave? No, no, I'm going in the cave. Can we all agree? Like we'd go in the cave, right? I mean, it's story is called the cave of time. I'm not going to miss the whole port of the cave. But if you enter that cave and you're presented with on the left, a chest, a treasure chest with a big pirate on it. Or on the right hand side, you have a Thai soccer team who's been in there for seven days. <laughs> Which one do you do? I'm sure you all agree, you go to the chest. You open up the chest, and as you open up the chest, it gives you some options. There is a golden goblet in there, but if I take the golden goblet, who knows what's gonna happen? Well, sometimes I took the golden goblet and I went down an adventure. Other times I didn't, and it took me down a different adventure. It was really, really cool. All these books had a different adventure, and as a kid, I used to be able to explore, but it was my decision. That was the best part. It wasn't someone telling me a story, it was my story. I created that story. But the one that changed my life from that day forward was this one right here. You are going to die. Look at the tear coming out of that kid's eye. Why is he crying? Because he's gonna die. I went through that book probably 20 different ways and every way I did it, the kid died. So why was it one of my favorite books of all time? It was one of my favorite books of all time because of this. If you knew at the end of the story the kid was going to die, he's going to die anyways. Let's have some fun with him. No? Or are you going to play it safe? He's dying anyways. Should he go around the back of the barn with his uncle? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. He's going to die anyways. Have some fun. But it made a metaphor for the rest of my life. Because each person in this room, every single person in this room, this is your story. Whether you like it or not, you're going to die. It's coming. So my question is this. Are you going to live your life with adventure? Are you going to live your life to the fullest? Or are you going to take the safe track and just hope it all works out at the end and when I die I go, ah, that was a pretty good story. You can't start that book over. That book is done. And for a lot of you young coaches out there, younger than me, I'm in the last three quarters of that book and it's scaring the shit out of me. You have the entire story to create on your own. And I don't want you to take crazy risks in your life, don't just go, oh, that's it, ha, ha, hun, we're getting a divorce and I'm buying a gym. Like, that's not what I'm talking about. Calculated risks. Calculated risks 
but allow yourself to dream so big that if you get to the end of your adventure that there's some kind of pot of gold at the end. If you can do that, folks, you're dreaming big. And when you find that pot of gold, even when you get to the end of the book, you need to over-deliver on that. Over-deliver. Make that, even sto that story even better. When things are being presented to you, make it better. And be undeniable. So when that door won't open that you, uh, you're trying to open, it doesn't open, you find a way to break through. I implore you to live your life this way. We're all going to die. Let's go on an adventure. Thank <laughs> you.